Okay, well I got her back together. Tailpiece installed. Neck back installed. So, uh, last thing I'm going to do before I string it up, I'm going to uh, sand out the fist string nut. And <clears throat> the nut up here, just with a real fine, super fine sandpaper, I'm going to run through there just to make sure there's not any sharp edges, because I am going to put gut strings back on this, or nylon gut, I should say. And uh, get her strung up here. Okay, getting it strung up. And I'm using the new Aquila Super Nylagut strings. Uh, you'll notice the lack of the red series fourth string. So um, I like the looks of them so far. They're advertised as being, uh, they're kind of an off-white or cream color, which the package says was closer to the original gut look, and they're supposed to just be more like the original gut strings and less stretch. Um, haven't really got them tuned up yet here, but so far I think they're a little bit less stretchy. Um, but I've noticed two problems already. One, the fifth string nut was this little bitty brass screw. And I tried sanding it out to smooth it out as much as I could um, before putting these gut strings on here, but there's still some sharp edges, apparently, because when I started... Uh, Tightening up this fist string, it started shredding it. I don't know if you can see here, if I can get it to focus, but uh, it was starting to eat on the back side of the string. So I think I'm going to have to replace that. Uh, it's had wire strings on it for so long, something there has gotten kind of a uh, rut in it, and I can't get it sanded out. So I'm going to go ahead and do an ebony fist string nut um, out of wood. It's going to work a lot better for this these gut strings so uh, i'm gonna do like i did before um, i've already got it started here i uh, put a little piece of ebony in my lathe haha -ha, and uh, getting it worked got a little little bit more to go on it and i'm actually going to try to maybe get two out of this that worked last time i did this uh, used a drill press last time but this is working just as good so uh Turn in a little piece of ebony here for those nuts, uh, or the fist string nut. Now the second problem I've run into is I think I'm actually going to have to make another nut for it too. Up here, because this one must be a replacement or it just wasn't a good one from the factory. For one, this uh, first string is way out on the edge and it's actually causing wear right along the edge. Um, and also the spacing I don't like. The fourth, third and fourth string spacing is a lot closer than these two. So it's uneven and the strings are just really wide, spaced out way too far on the edges. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a new nut here. Um, I'm going to try playing it once I get this fifth string nut in. But I think I'm going to have to replace that even though it's in good shape. It's just... It must be a replacement, or like I said, just from the factory. It may just not have been a quality control item. So, <laughs> oh, uh, and additionally, the fist string friction peg is slipping. So, it was slick plastic, and it was real slick on the inside. And I did sand it out some to rough it up, and it's a lot better. So, I'm going to try chalking it and see if that'll work. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I will uh, show you how these items come out. Okay, I thought I'd show you one more thing on this. Um, I'm using one of these drill bit hole guides to get my size. Uh, I think I'm going to have it at about 764 is going to be about right. So I'm just working this until it just won't quite go through or it's real tight fit in that hole. Um, and then I've, I've, first I've worked it with a wood rasp and then a fine file and then some real fine sandpaper. And I've also polished the edge of the, of the tip here to get a nice round smooth point. Um, and then I'm going to cut my groove in it and then I'm going to cut it off to length. And again, I think I can get two, of, two nuts out of these because I've got another project uh, that I will show you that's coming up that I'm going to need another one. So might as well do two at the same time. Okay, I got it back together and uh, after playing it a couple of days, decided to make a couple of adjustments. Um, the neck was just completely flat, 
Uh, the string spacing was, kind of, or the uh, the string height on the fretboard was really high, and then the strings were really close to the neck. So I took the neck back out and looked at it, and the original hole is the one here on the top. So it wasn't centered at all. Most of these a lot of times are centered. So I went ahead and put a hole below it, uh, which is going to angle the neck back. Should bring these strings closer to the neck and give more room on the pot. Um, also, I decided to go ahead and do a new nut up here. Um, that, that nut that was on it, whether it was factory or not, the spacing was off considerably on the strings. Uh, playing single notes wasn't bad, but when you went to chord, it was just really throws you off. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new net. I'm going to bring the strings in off the side of the neck because that was another thing is the strings were so close to the edge they were actually wearing the side of the neck. So I'm going to bring those those strings in and then have them evenly spaced. I think that's going to make playability much, much better. Um, other things, I went ahead and decided to polish this tailpiece off while I had it off again uh, or polish it out. Um, the Plating on it was only about 50% and uh, looked real splotchy and didn't look very good. So I've seen these in brass before anyway, so I went ahead and polished, to strip the rest of the plating off, polished it out. Uh, could always be re-nickel plated if you wanted to, but uh, that'll age and turn it the brass. It won't take long for that to get a little patina on it and uh, won't be very noticeable. Um, the other thing, while I had the neck out, it was easier. I went ahead and uh, documented the history. I had... Uh, a little bit of history of the original owner, so I wrote that in here. It was actually on the original skin part of it, and then uh, I've talked to uh, some of the family members. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at. I'll go ahead and get this put back together with those adjustments and uh, show you it completed.